Hello everybody, this is Gummy Bear Gamer here to bring you a Nuzlocke challenge in Pokemon BDSP. Let's go over the rules real quick. Number one rule if it is if a Pokemon faints, it is dead, sent to the graveyard. I can only catch the first Pokemon encountered in each route. If I fail the encounter, no catch. Nicknaming all my Pokemon to where I have emotional ties to each Pokemon to where if they die, guess what? That sucks even more. Dupes Claws, I can only catch one member of each species. So if I happen to catch, say, a Bidoof as my first encounter, and then later on I encounter a Babel, I can't catch it. So I will have to redo an encounter for that route until there's a different Pokemon. For some added difficulty, I'm going to put the battle style on set mode. I will have one underground encounter pull gym badge. Each encounter will be done in the city that I receive the gym badge. I will go underground and select from any of the biomes that I can access without having to cross through other biomes to get to them. Prior to entering into the biome, I will blindfold myself and do the encounter blindfolded. Lastly, blackout equals game over. Well, before we get into the video, go ahead and drop a like Go ahead and drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and share this video. Please stay tuned for more. Alright, let's get into the video! Yes, by the way, if you haven't already, drop a like and a comment below, and go ahead and subscribe. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly, to the Crestfallen team. Man, that'd be so cool if we got Hot Gold Soul Silver remakes in this style. I'd be so hype. Look at my chibi self running around. Mom's like, hey, yo, dude, it's like... Almost 12 in the morning. Why are you just now waking up? What the heck is wrong with you? Thud! Going to the lake? What? 10 million? I don't even think I can get that many Poké Dollars. What the heck? I remember this in the original Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. The Barry was like so on crack running around behind you. It was so funny to watch. They did a really good job with the music. I right, come on, people, get out the way. I want to go steal your Pokemon that you left behind. Gosh dang it. A grass ninja turtle? A fire monkey who has explosive diarrhea? Or a cute penguin? I think explosive diarrhea will... Probably be the best option. Alright, let's scratch the mess out of this story. Uh, whoa! Whoa, I've never had that done half health before. Maybe I have like an adamant nature on high IVs or something. Here comes Dawn. Yeah, we stole your Pokemon, stupid. Don't leave your briefcase full of three rare Pokemon that can only be found in the post game. Just asking for stuff to be stolen. By the way, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hey, called it. That's gonna suck for the special attacks though, but oh well. Thud. I'm gonna do my naming after food, and so I'm gonna name... Skittles. What? My friend subscribed? No way. So should you. Going home to tell my mommy all about the Pokemon that I just caught. That's right, I'm skipping encounters. What are you gonna do? 
teach me how to catch Pokemon. Please, I do not know how. Is that God himself? No, nah, dude, you totally use withdraw in this situation. Gosh dang, you don't know the damage calcs. How far do you think Dawn would get into whole Nuzlocke? Ooh, do I count fishing encounters as separate encounters? Can I do multiple encounters if I do? I'm gonna do research for my next episode because I doubt that I'm gonna be able to do that in this episode. But I'm gonna go back to Route 201 and get my first encounter, which is... Aha! A Bidoof. This will be pretty useful. Alright, first encounter is caught. I'm gonna name you Peanuts. Ah, if I can spell. Peanuts has been added to your party. Alright, here goes my second encounter. Or well, not. Please pay shanks with Intimidate. I mean, it's still a good Pokemon, though. Catch my second one, catch my second one, catch my second one, catch my second one, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> that probably was really annoying. Starburst. Man, I really am put putting names that I can watch this be an intimidate shakes. Oh, nah, I'll be fine. I'm gonna go heal. I think an underrated aspect of Beedoo's design is his cute little beard. Do I battle him or do I switch out Pokemon before battling him? Let's check. Oh no, I'm intimidated. My physical attack has dropped. If only I had a move that didn't use the physical attack. Granted, because I am an adamant nature, it does less damage. Damage. This could get serious. Operation. Keep Skittles alive. Yes. Thank god the AI only game is so bad. Can't wait for Joyano to make a hack of BDSP to make everybody as tough as Cynthia. And then just somehow make Cynthia even like her AI just like absolutely perfect. Do I go ahead and get an encounter from up here? The answer is yes. Look the other way, dude. Oh. Alright, my encounter for this route is. Yes! That is so good, provided I encounter it, or catch it, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that could be bad. Kale Sailor. She can't see me because I'm hiding in the grass like a wild Pokemon. It'd be cool if you could do that as a double battle. Do I get my encounter before I go to Barry? Apparently I can't. <laughs> Using Scratch just in case he switches. Even though I know that's not going to happen. Who can take on his Piplup? How about let's not use lose my starter Pokemon this early? Peanuts it is. Good bulky peanut. Do I use I 
Like, Kale Salad's gonna be able to obviously do the most damage heal, but, like, I don't know if it can survive the two tones of the throwing it out and then the second, because its defenses are so low. Alright, is it? If it's fixing to use a bunch of growls all in a row, 4D chess. Let's find out. Oh no. Oh, I can. I think it. Uh, provided there's no crit, I think I can do it. Oh, the poison point of the kale salad. Come on, give me a chunk. If it's a crit, I die. But Star Boss doesn't. Although maybe I didn't, I don't know, I didn't do math there. Kale salad got the victory for us there. I mean, I would have had the victory no matter what, but it's the most important part is no deaths on that victory. Star Wars on the winged attack. Good lord, kale salad grew up a bunch. All right, force encounter for about 203. It's taking a while to get. Ah, because of dupes claws, can't catch it. <gasps> please be intimidate, please be intimidate, please be intimidate, please be intimidate. Yes! Thunder Shock! Gosh, that's so useful. Crap, I don't even know how many Pokeballs I have. Yes. So useful for Intimidate. Um, switching in and out. I forgot what that's called. To go alongside with kale salad, I have food salad. I got rock smash. Oh, I get another encounter in this area. Wow, that happened quick. Geo dud. Coco Puffs! Coco Puffs has been added to the party. I'm gonna go ahead and get my encounter for this route, which is 207. Oh, a Machop! That, that'll be useful. I think that'll be more immediately useful than... Than, uh, than Geo, dude. That's a solid encounter. I feel good with that one. Ooh, I wonder what my encounter for here is going to be. <laughs> I'd like to get it. Okay, let's find out. Not a surprise there, Onyx. Although, not gonna lie, Onyx is pretty weak until it becomes, uh, until it becomes Steelix. Which won't be for a while. If I keep it. On my team. In the regular rotation.
power up punch is extremely useful. All right, here to take on the Force Gym. Train or two. Let's go. Kale salad ain't scared of Onyx. All right, on to the Force Gym Leader. Let's go! Oh shoot, the strategy should have been to keep Chimchoy. Oh well, because a power up punch gets stronger the more you use it. Let's go absorb these fools. Oh, that's a good strat. I guess I'm keeping Kale Salad in as long as I can. I can take a walk though or two. So I'm now at plus two special attack. Actually, the dumbest thing you could have done. Should have hit me with a damage move. Because you would have died regardless, and now I get more HP back. I'm 4 HP, plus 2 special attack, going into your final Pokemon. Who can actually deal a poop ton of damage, but still. Alright, Cranidos. Breaks the mold. Really? You should have just went for an all-out attack right there. Well, maybe. Ooh! Ooh! I gotta switch out kill. I thought that was gonna be a clean sweep. Kale Salad's gotta come back in. Dang, I thought he was 
It's gonna take a bit of damage though right off the beginning, that's the problem. Gotta go for it. Alright, come on. Oh, dude, no. I mean, no for you, but good for me. Yeah. Well, that battle's over and we lost Bidoof. Peanuts the Bidoof. And also our first evolved Pokemon. I really like how they did the uh, evolution screen. Skittles has evolved. Boom, just like that. We got our force badge. All right, on to the death box. Peanuts, your sacrifice was worthy. Your sacrifice was not in vain. For you allowed us to get our force gem badge. All right, and I'm gonna end the first episode right there um, after we've gotten our first gym badge. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, go ahead and share this video, and stay tuned. I'm gonna try to post weekly videos for this series until I beat the game. All right, Gummy Bill Gamer, out!